Okay, so we're going to look at the Bloomberg terminal today. Um, if you're not familiar with Bloomberg, which you probably are, but uh, just for those who aren't, it's a, it's a financial software tools provider. Um, it, it provides various financial analysis tools, data services and company news um, to all manner of financial companies and organisations all over the world. Um, and the medium it puts these through is called the Bloomberg Terminal and that's what we're looking at now that you can see on your screen. So the, the terminal is a virtually bottomless pit of information covering a wide range of financial products. Uh, Accendo Markets uses it mainly for UK listed equities and so that's what we're going to have a look at um, in, a, in a minute. Um, we'll look at about three of the most important functions that we use and you know while you can sometimes look at something like the Bloomberg Terminal and think that it looks very complicated, uh, it's actually pretty simple uh, as long as you know what you're looking at. So first of all we'll uh, search for a company um, and I'm going to search for Lloyd's Banking Group now. I'm just going to put the pointer into this blue box here uh, and I'll start typing Lloyd's. So you can see I've typed the first four letters. It so happens that that is the ticker for Lloyd's, but um, you could actually end up typing the whole company and it will give you this drop-down list of um, results and suggestions. Now there are lots here. Um, since we're looking for Lloyd's Banking Group, which is listed on the London Stock Exchange in the UK, um, we're looking for the entry that ends with LN Equity. LN obviously stands for London Equity. Well, that's pretty clear, it, it's, uh, it's an equity. Uh, so we're going to select that. And then we're going to come up with uh, the main menu here. Now there are several functions that you can click on. Um, but we're going to start by just having a look at the general overview for Lloyd's Banking Group. And for that we click Security Description. And the abbreviation for that is DES there. So let's click that. So this is the... Uh, security description page. It's a general overview of the stock, it's got a brief description in words, it's got a chart, it's got some share price information here, it's got some high and low information so this will be the 52 week high, 89p, the 52 week low, 70p, it's just just off the low actually at the moment and various other information uh, abounds on this page. You've got some earnings estimates, you've got its price to earnings ratio, its estimated price to earnings ratio for next year, um, and various other bits, dividend yield, who's in charge of the company, and this will be the same for any, um, any FTSE stock or any UK listed stock you look at. So this is a really good page. Um, if you're not completely familiar with what your company, what the company does, um, and yet you're trying to talk to a client about it, sitting here looking at this screen, you've got pretty much everything uh, you need to know that, that the client will be interested in. So that's the general um, security description. Um, what we're going to have a look at now is the company news page. Now, we've already got Lloyd's selected here. So if we want to change to a different page to get some more information on Lloyd's, we can go up to these grey boxes here at the top. So on the left we've got Lloyd's Banking Group, it says. Um, and just to the right, if you remember, I said that the abbreviation for the security description was were the three letters DES, DES. Um, so that's where we are now. If I click on the drop down here, we've got a whole range of pages referred to by their abbreviated names. Now, um, the next one we're going to look at is the company news. Um, obviously, CN, company news. Let's have a look at that. Let's click on that now. Right, so this is the company news page. It gives you all of the latest news stories uh, relating to the stock you're interested in. So in terms of Lloyd's, we've got um, a plethora of, of news items. Now they, they come in at various times throughout the day. It's constantly updated and you'll see the time it's come out. This is, this is important if um, a share price moves uh, a lot in a very short period of time. If, it's, if it gets volatile suddenly, or it comes off by 5%, or it goes up by 5%, people want to know why that is. Um, now a good way to find that out is to come onto the Bloomberg Terminal. It's probably the, you know, it's probably the, the best place to come to 
initially for, for news to get the news quickly um, and so you can you can see what times things have come out you can find out what might have moved the stock and if you want to see more detail just click and you've got more details here now one thing um, people like to do sometimes is to share news stories if they're breaking just in case colleagues might be interested in in them uh, we can export this um, or we can email it now uh, I'm going to show you just how to email it now because that's the simplest way to share this you can share it with your friends your colleagues whoever so what I'm going to do is uh, basically take a screen grab so I'm going to click on this in the top right corner take a screenshot to save send or print and I'm going to select grab screen now all I do now is I put in the email address of whoever I want to send it to and I click send and that will send a screen grab now it's important to remember that this will, uh, will grab the, vis the visible part of the screen um, but in essence with these news stories it's usually the case that the entire story is embodied in the first four or eight lines You'll, you're unlikely to want to know any more um, what's going on in the rest of the article might be uh, analysis and such like well if you're working in a company you'll have a team of analysts who are, whose job it is to analyze the news what you're really interested in is the gist of what's happened and that usually happens in the first few lines so in this case it's okay to grab the screen and just email it so that's company news the other thing that I should mention about company news is that the day before a company releases results it will release a preview so that'll have all the expectations of the analysts that are covering the stock and so that's essential um, uh, if, if it's the day before results and you're talking to a client and you want to know um, the potential effect on the share price or what the expectations are uh, um, sometimes people like to trade stocks ahead of results so you can come onto the Bloomberg terminal and usually in the afternoon the day before the results come out there will be a earnings preview and you can share that with your colleagues in exactly the same way as I've just described so we go up to the top here grab screen and we'll share that obviously this applies to any news story okay so that's company news pretty simple um, now I'm going to look at the last of our three uh, pages and that is the analyst recommendations now this is really important because it tells you what all the brokers and all the analysts who are covering the stock think about the stock um, so let's find that page so we're going to go back up to here to these two grey boxes we're going to click on the drop down here and we're going to go to ANR that stands for analyst recommendations <clears throat> so if I click that this is the analyst recommendations page so <clears throat> you can see here that we've got um, the number of buys, the number of holds and the number of sells and these are the uh, recommendations from these brokers down here so uh, you can quickly tell your client right Lloyds Banking Group 20 brokers are saying buy 20 are saying uh, 7 are saying hold 3 are saying sell um, that's a pretty bullish general outlook um, and it'll also give you an average 12 month target price which is the average of all these broker recommendations down here so at the moment that's 88.5p um, somewhat higher than the current price and it'll give you return potential of 22.7% and that is the percentage above the current price so if it was to go up to 88.5 that implies 22.7% upside um, this is again a really good page to look at when you're talking to your clients it gives you a lot of information you can look at the brokers themselves down here you know some are better known than others you might prefer to say well you know Sockgen are saying buy um, perhaps that's uh, more important than say Davy, who are saying nonetheless saying outperform um, etc so there are various ways of, uh, of interpreting this data and, um, and explaining it to clients um, if you're more visual well you, you can see the chart here the chart shows the the share price and the yellow line here is the target the average 12-month target price so 
if you're more visually minded then just looking at this chart um, gives you a really good idea of, of what the expectations are for that stock. Um, incidentally these bars show the, uh, the they, they visualize this bit here so the number of buys to sells to, to holds to sells um, really easy to see if you're more visually um, minded and again if you want to share this you just click up in the top right corner here grab the screen enter the email address and send um, and that way you can share it with all your colleagues so they don't all have to uh, come up here and do it themselves so that is a very brief run through of some of the most useful features uh, essentially for, for us at Xendo Markets but probably the most useful features for anyone who's interested in analysing um, equities and uh, working out what market sentiment is um, and what the news is surrounding stocks and even just learning a little bit about uh, the particular stock that, that you're looking at. So I hope you found that helpful and uh, good luck using the Bloomberg Terminal.